Summer Game Fest, two days away. Gotham Knights will be there. We know that because I literally said it in my last video. So if you didn't watch it yet, go watch it or stay to hear me talk about five things I want to see from Gotham Knights at Summer Game Fest. Before we get into this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It'll help me out a lot and will let me know that you guys want me to talk about more Gotham Knights in the following months with y'all. With that out of the way, let's get into this. Number one, I want to see Nightwing stop using a stupid Fortnite glut. No, no, no. I get it, that everyone memeing on my guy for him traveling like this. I memed on it at first too, but I'm getting used to it now and don't care for it that much anymore. But honestly, Red Hood's gotta stop sharding his pants to get around. What the hell is that? What the hell is even that? I'm joking again. I don't really care for either modes of transport. It's new, strange, different, and everybody's crying about it, I know, but get over it. If you don't like it, then use the damn bike. I sounded mean there for a second. <laughs> my bad, I'm sorry if I made y'all piss yourselves. I love you. But I'm being honest with y'all and don't really care that much for either and we'll get more used to both as time goes on. But seriously, number one, just show us new gameplay. Gameplay for the main story, side mission, free roaming, whatever. Preferably another side mission. Think that would be cool to see. Show quite a bit of it. We just want to see some gameplay. Especially Robin's gameplay. Number two, show more villains for the damn game, will ya? Please, man, I really just want to see someone new. Show us Ventriloquist, Killer Moth, Calendar Man, Egghead, Clock King, Kite Man, Toy Maker, Polka Dot Man, Tweedledee, and Tweedle fucking Dumb. There are many villains I haven't listed off yet, and I could keep on going. And no, I'm not joking. I think the Arkham games used a lot of Batman's most popular popular villains already, so I'd like to see some new bitches. Obviously, the game should still have some of Batman's top tier villains, but I don't want there to only be top tier villains. Show us some new faces, some new faces to come up against our very own Gotham Knights. I think it would only work though if these villains were in the side missions only, cause ain't no way these guys would fit in the story. Just a reminder, if you're liking this video so far, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want more content like this from me in the future. Number three, show us what the main characters will be like. One of my favorite things to watch from a game, movie, show, whatever, is characterization. If there is any piece of media, I consume that has strong characters in it, I'm most likely going to enjoy that piece of media even more. That's why I love games like God of War, Spider-Man, the Uncharted series, Detroit Become Human. All of these games have some of the best characterization I've ever seen in games. I'd love to see WB Games Montreal show us what the team is like and how they act on a normal everyday basis. With Batman being unalive, I think this is a great way to show how they are spawned to tragedy. I want to love these characters. I want to fuck these characters. I want to finish playing this game telling myself that this game has some of the best characterization I've witness. If WB Games Montreal shows anything to where the characters get to connect with each other more, I'd love that. Number four, the game's HUD. We only got to see a glimpse of what this shit looked like for the gameplay demo, and I really want them to go through this a little bit more. Just show us what all of these different tabs are for with some brief description for each of them. The map is obviously the map, the gears for the gear, the ability is the ability, but I'm mainly talking about the other ones like case files, for example. I'm guessing this is where we go to choose what missions we're trying to do in the game, and then challenges is just a list of challenges for us to do and we win a prize. The database is where we go to check out descriptions for all the other different characters and locations in the game. Game. And then there's a fucking email tab apparently. Wild guess guys, I think you go here for emails. Now all these tabs in the HUD could sound obvious to you guys and you probably already knew exactly what they meant and are liking the game, sure. I just want WB Games Montreal to go through each tab for a brief few seconds or so just to tell us what's up with each specific tab. Show us what they look like. Show us what we're about to get into. We could hopefully even get them to show us more of what the map looks like and what the abilities are in the game for each character. Number five, the gear system. We also saw a glimpse of this in the last gameplay demo with what it looks like to be in the game's HUD. But just fucking tell us more. We're curious, goddammit. Tell us more about everything at this point, because there is still so much that WB Games Montreal hasn't showed or explained so far. This is an RPG game, and if they're wanting us to constantly consider changing our stats and looks with what we earn from completing missions and fighting crime, then fucking just tell us and show us more. Show us more from what we can expect from the gear system. In the HUD, where the gear tab is, there were four other tabs in there. Loadouts, crafting, mod style. Go through them! Show us what their crafting is like, what mods we can equip, all the different ways we can style ourselves. Do certain types of missions and enemies in the game give you better rewards than others? Will more valuable items to earn be earned through complete RNG or do we have to earn it from completing certain tasks? Will we have to spend countless and countless hours grinding for better gear? Answers guys. We need answers. WB Games Montreal is only up there for a little bit, so with that little bit of time, I'm hoping that they show off much more to the game because it honestly feels like they've been holding back on showing us a lot of stuff for the last two years. I hope I get real satisfied with what they show. I hope you guys get real satisfied with what they show. I hope that what they showed this Thursday at Summer Game Fest for Gotham Knights wins back many fans and their interest to play the game. And I hope we all just become more excited for the game's release this October. Comment down below the top things you guys want from the game. Thank you all so much for watching. Once again, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe with that bell so you can get notified of all my future Gotham Knights videos. See you next time, you beautiful bitches.